Okay, let's talk about the Hermit card. So in the natural progression of the Trumps, like I said many times, there's beginnings, middles, and ends. And we have just finished the adjustment card, which is the one previous to this one. And the adjustment card is about marriages and contracts and paperwork and the signing of things like divorces and anything related to legal issues. And what happens when you get married um, is that all of a sudden you realize that you've lost your boundaries. And you have to figure out a way to get your boundaries back. And so if this hermit card is that moment where you've expanded so far that you feel like you actually have to stop, breathe, pull back, regroup, and you have to find yourself again. So this card, you see the hermit with the gray hair, with the red robe, and he's kind of got this soft, swoopy energy to his body because he's trying to find the flow and he's going into the darkness. And yet he has a light, which is his own knowledge and awareness that is shining in the darkness, guiding his way. But whenever you go on a journey inward, you always have to face the three-headed dog, which is the demon dogs of hell. And so you have to confront your fears. You have to confront the things that you don't want to look at in order to find the hidden treasure that is buried in the dark. Because treasure is always hidden in the dark, in myth and mythology. You will also see that he is in the darkness, but he's actually in a field of wheat. And the field of wheat actually looks like um, the villi in the fallopian tubes that push the egg through um, the fallopian tubes towards the uterus. And you also see in there the um, egg with the snake wrapped around it, which uh, indicates the fertility process. And you also see in the card a, a symbol that's kind of looking like a sperm that is seeking out in the darkness its place that it's trying to be, which is the egg. So when you get this card, it's an indication that yes, you're in the dark, but you're searching for the light um, inside of you and you're searching for life. Um, you also are going deep within you and there's fields of wheat and abundance when you're willing to go deep within. So this card is a wonderful card, but it's an indicator of being more internal. And this card has an association or a connection with the Bear Dreamer Magus card, which unfortunately now um, has been taken out of the Aleister Crowley cards, and so then you're going to have to associate it with the regular Magus card. So, um, but it, the Bear Dreamer was the representing that you had to learn the communication and the skills inward, um, and now this card is saying, now you just have to go inward, that what you're seeking is inside of yourself, it's no longer outside yourself, and you have to reclaim who you are, what you want, and what your mission and your purpose and your dream is. So this is the indication of the Hermit card. I hope you enjoy it. Bye.